So if this wasn't already clear to everyone, let me make it clear now. The 2020 election cycle is about us versus the elites, the millionaires and billionaires versus the working class. They have been waging a decades long, multi decades long class warfare on the working class where they lobby the government and buy off politicians to shift the tax burden away from them and onto you and I. They are pushing elected officials to make sure that policy outcomes benefit them and not us. And they're making sure that anyone who's running in any election anywhere across the country is a puppet, is bankrolled by them because they need to make sure that. Even if they have everything already, they get even more. So they're so greedy that after having so much wealth, it's not enough. They want more and they will never be satisfied. Their thirst for, you know, wealth and power, it will never be quenched. And they're getting so frustrated now with the prospect of a Bernie Sanders presidency that rather than just having a puppet or a proxy represent them in government, now they're just choosing to rise up and run directly. So, I mean, we have Donald Trump, a billionaire, as president. We have another billionaire running, Tom Steyer. And now a third billionaire wants to enter the race, Michael Bloomberg. Now, as Sidney Ember of the New York Times writes, Mr. Bloomberg on Friday took the first step toward a candidacy, filing paperwork to qualify for the ballot in Alabama. His looming entry into the race has underscored its fluidity while presenting the threat of a centrist competitor to former Vice President Joseph R. Biden Jr. Mr. Bloomberg's early moves and his suggestion that he would follow the unconventional campaign strategy of skipping all four traditional early state contests and instead stake his candidacy on delegate-rich primary states like California and Texas has supplied fresh fodder for candidates like Mr. Sanders and Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, who are both campaigning on anti-elitist progressive messages. Earlier in the day on Saturday at a climate change forum in Des Moines, Mr. Sanders directed a more glancing blow at Mr. Bloomberg, saying the country needed a dynamic democracy, a democracy where all of us play a role in shaping public policy, not some billionaire who decides that he wants to run for president of the United States because he's a billionaire. Mr. Sanders also took a shot at Mr. Biden, who recently said he would be willing to accept support from a super PAC. His campaign, Mr. Sanders said, had no such financial vehicle. So essentially what billionaires are now doing is they're cutting out the middlemen and middle women, right? Rather than just buying off a puppet and having themselves be represented through a proxy, now they're choosing to just run directly themselves because they just don't have enough, according to them. Now, when you look at political science studies, there's a 2014 Princeton University study by Drs. Gillens and Page that found that when it comes to policy outcomes, elites and, you know, special interests, they get everything. But normal, non-elite citizens, working class Americans, we have a statistically insignificant impact on policy outcomes. But guess what? They are still not satisfied with everything that they have, all the wealth and power that they've accumulated. So they want more. And because of the prospect of a Bernie Sanders presidency scares them so much, well, now what they're trying to do is make sure that they undermine what the working class wants. And this isn't just Michael Bloomberg. There is real class solidarity among elites. Because as Vox journalist Jason Del Rey tweeted out, in a private phone call earlier this year, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos asked Mike Bloomberg if he'd consider running for president. To which Bernie Sanders responded saying, ha 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 that's some real class solidarity i'm impressed by that grassroots movement our campaign on the other hand is a real movement by and for the working class we are going to take on the billionaire class and we are going to defeat them now a few days prior to the news that michael bloomberg would be running bernie sanders tweeted the billionaire class is scared and they should be scared now additionally at a rally in iowa with alexandria ocasio-cortez Bernie Sanders had a stern warning from Michael Bloomberg. Take a look. Our campaign is going to end a corrupt political system dominated by billionaires and wealthy campaign contributors. Our campaign is going to end the grotesque level of income and wealth inequality which exists in America today. So tonight we say to 
Michael Bloomberg and other billionaires, sorry, you ain't gonna buy this election. You're not gonna get elected president by avoiding Iowa, by avoiding New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada. You're not going to buy this election by spending hundreds of millions of dollars on media in California. Those days are gone. That was fantastic. You are not going to buy this election. You can try, and they certainly will try. But what matters is that we go even harder for Bernie Sanders. We fight even more. We donate even more. Because moneyed interests, they're not just going to, you know, roll over and accept a Bernie Sanders nomination. If he becomes the nomination, I need you to realize what we are going to witness is going to be so remarkable. So many people who are centrist are suddenly going to go full MAGA. They're going to become chuds Also, they can protect their wealth and power. That's what we are going to see. That's exactly what's going to happen. So the establishment is going to fight. They're going to back Donald Trump because even though the establishment isn't necessarily too happy with Donald Trump, he's doing their bidding. So at the end of the day, what we're going to see is elites in this country coalesce around Donald Trump if Bernie Sanders is the nominee and they will fight him tooth and nail. So even though I believe that Bernie Sanders is infinite, infinitely more electable than anyone else running in 2020, this is not going to be an easy fight because they're not just going to let us have this victory and throw their hands up in the air and say, well, you know what? It was a hard-fought battle. We tried our best, but we lost. That's not going to happen. I promise you that is not going to happen. Capitalism is going to put up the hardest fight ever and exhaust all of its resources until it has none left. So if you want this victory, if you want Bernie Sanders to become president, you have to put in the time. You have to dedicate at least some time per week to phone bank for him to get the word out because we can win if we have enough people, right? We have to have grassroots and people power on the ground organizing constantly because this will be a battle unlike any other battle before, politi politically speaking. So we've got to fight and um, we got to send a message that the billionaire class, unlike what has previously been the case, they're not going to be able to do what they've been able to accomplish before. They're not going to be able to keep buying elections. 2020 is not for sale. This is our election. And anyone like Michael Bloomberg or Tom Steyer or Donald Trump or Jeff Bezos who thinks that they're going to be able to keep having it all and hoarding wealth, we have to send them a message that those days are done and we're going to take from them what they stole from us. Wealth. We just got to fight for it. I can't stress that enough. This is going to be a very, very tough battle. So if you want it, work for it.